Hello and welcome, my name is Charlie Roscoe and this is the very last time you'll hear from me in 2017. And I wanted to dedicate my last video for the year to the awesome Charlie Roscoe liveries that some of my subscribers made after we had the discussion in a couple of my livery creation streams. So straight up, thank you to WeeB23, Krasmaster417, Moldovich1 and Arno Spanson for your efforts. Also to my good friend Ryan Lee Graphics, he's usually there chatting to me during my livery streams and he actually creates liveries for real life racing teams. So thanks for taking the time out to make one up for me in Gran Turismo. I know you've got a couple of actual teams eager to see your design, so much appreciated. I did also create my own livery, which you'll see last. It's actually probably a good time to mention just how good the Gran Turismo escapes mode is as well. Most of what you're watching was just recorded where you see your own car in the garage, but it's still part of Scapes, it's just moving and not a still picture. The way they've managed to integrate a rendered vehicle into a real background and actually make it look like it belongs there is absolute genius. To the untrained eye, it looks real. I think it sets a new standard for all racing games and sims and I would definitely not be surprised to see it replicated and copied by a lot more developers. Now, I'm definitely not one who generally likes to wax lyrical, nor do I really like making self-indulgent videos, but if you'll allow me to be reflective on the year for just a moment, I'll take the opportunity to give you an insight into how my whirlwind year has gone on YouTube and thank each and every one of you. So back in May of 2016, I created this channel with the intention of using racing games and sims as the visual base to allow me to discuss real life racing. If a Formula 1 race was on at Spa, for example, I'd record a race on F1 2016 and after the real life race had finished, I'd record my thoughts on how the race went. I had a few main championships I followed and eventually I realised that nearly on a weekly basis, I'd be having full weekend racing discussions with two of my mates over Skype. That gave me the idea to start a podcast where the three of us would record an episode each week and discuss the racing that had been on that weekend. And that's pretty much all I use his channel for, for like 12 months. Unfortunately, it wasn't really growing or doing anything much to be honest. We had a few regular listeners but only like 18 subscribers on YouTube in August of 2017. Given the amount of time I was putting into creating videos on YouTube, I made myself the deal that if I didn't hit 100 subscribers by Christmas, I'd pack it all in and move on. I think I was actually setting myself up to fail given that it had taken 15 months to gain 18 subs and now I had to get 82 more in 4 months. But I started to dabble a bit in creating videos that were just about the game or the sim itself and these were a little more popular. Then on the 25th of August 2017 when F1 2017 released, I thought I might try my hand at live streaming while I raced. My channel finally started to gain a little bit of traction at that point. Then in October when Gran Turismo Sport came out, I thought, bugger it, I'm throwing all chips in, maximum effort to see if I can build a cool little community to chat to whilst I stream, and maybe even enjoy a few videos I create. Two months later, and I'm totally blown away by how much support you guys have given me. As I record this video, a video, may I remind you, that is showcasing liveries that some totally amazing random strangers decided to use their own time to create CR themed liveries. And right now, I'm sitting just under 900 subscribers and every time I stream, I see a lot of the same people turning up to have great chats. I know this is small fry numbers for most of the YouTube channels you guys probably watch, but I'm not here for fame and fortune. I just like creating videos that people can enjoy and chatting to other racing enthusiasts on stream. YouTube has become something of a shining light in what was otherwise a fairly challenging year for me at times, so I'm going to go ahead and say a massive thank you to every single person that's joined a stream, watched a video, chatted, liked and subscribed to my channel in 2017. It has meant a lot more to me than you probably know. Happy New Year everyone. I hope to see you all in 2018. Bye for now.